came and said, you want some? I got a question for you. I'll put a name behind the interview. 1722 Iron Wars. Not more East. Put some names on the energy. Not down south. Everybody was crazy, huh, when they had an idea. How about Midwest? Call. Steve Call? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. He tried to tell you the truth. He said, don't even show up. Is that accurate? Did you say? Don't even show up. We, we motivate each other differently and where so we're from. My motivation, I kept on my club for about three or four months. From not in the damn or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, when you tried to, when you seen me do 75 reps at 225, I said, do not back the fuck up. Keep that same energy. All he had on me just now was the fact that I did disappear when the motherfuckers did it. I cannot make any, I cannot do anything about that, physically, not at all. I ain't scared of shit. Uh-oh. And due to the fact that he said yes, took me to a whole nother level mentally to train, I appreciate all that. But I don't have an autograph book. All I have is my raps. Dang. We work out, oh, we got his that bitch. bitch. So mm -hmm. now it's time to get busy. Well, technically, you got my bitch. How about we just shut the fuck up and get to work? Yeah. I took all that time, prepped all this energy, used all that, because I came here to, you know, dedicate this to my grandmother. I'm gonna do exactly what I know my grandmother would have wanted me to do. <laughs> it's for you, mother. You, you challenge me. Ain't no motherfucking challenge if you stop at 30. That's your 30. That's what my grandmother wanted me to do. This ain't no competition at all, you got to start. I know you got more than that. I watch your shit. All right. Mother, this for you. You said be the bigger person. Me and you, Iron Wars. We gonna finish this shit. You gonna give me more than, no, I want more than 60. I'm gonna give you your 85, 90. But I refuse to sit down and do this bullshit that you sitting there half ass off your shit, and on top of that, me and you, we gonna train up until that point. You come your ass to Dallas, I come my ass out there to Ohio, we gonna eat. But I'm gonna teach people about this challenge and all this shit, this is the reason why, make sure you open, you open your mouth, you know what you're getting yourself into. I came here for destruction. God works in mysterious ways. But I refuse to sit down and take advantage of a man going through this type of shit, I felt that before. With that being said, I'm going to get down and I'm going to pray to my grandma and get your ass down here and pray with me. Oh, thank you for putting clothes on my back. I'm on my table before my head goes on small things. God, thank you for blessing us, letting us see this day in your world. God, I should heal this man. Make him strong in you, Lord Jesus. Teach him the way. Teach him everything you need to teach him. Now. Make him go your way, Lord Jesus. Mother, I thank you for everything you've given me. I thank you for everything you've blessed me with. I love you, Kasai. I love you. Carter, I love you. I watched this woman literally, man, go through so much shit, living in the projects, food stamps, you know, commodity, people don't even know what commodity is. You know, government cheese, government this, Section 8, went through so much. She sacrificed so much to make sure we went to church every Sunday, make sure we knew who put clothes on our back and food on our table, man. And she did so much for me, and I said to myself when she died, she said, whatever you're gonna give me, give it to me when I'm alive, because they didn't know nothing, see nothing here. I know she can't see me, she can't hear me. But I do this for her spirit. The people who have somebody in their family like mother, I will always keep your spirit alive. Thank you. Rest in peace, beautiful. Thank you. Um, man, we more alike than we not. 
And when he pulled his grandmother's mural out, every time I compete, I carry my grandmother with me too. A lot of things been said about me through this process. I want attention. And I used to I used to defend it. I used to say, well, dude, I'm a public speaker. I've spoken from the thousands of people. Then I turned around, I said, you know what, you do need attention because you have a message. You want to be a big fitness star or whatever? What are you saying behind that? A lot of people won't be able to lift like the Hulk. Shit, I can't lift like the Hulk. You see me just drop the shit on my chest? I've never dropped a weight before in my entire existence. What did you learn from Hulk Smash? What did you learn from the video where he wheeled his daughter out while he was training the lady? What do y'all learn from my content when I say, you don't have a lane. Do whatever you want to do in life. I once imagined myself actually working out with the Hulk. The only way I get his attention is to call him out. Unfortunately for me, today was the first day out of my 20 something years of lifting weights I dropped it on my chest. My message is always gonna be the same. Do what you wanna do in life. And if you gotta take the hardest route possible, it's gonna be worth it in the end. Pops, I can't give my grandmother nothing. Tomorrow, her birthday, I wanna thank you for helping me. I wanna thank you for taking the time, all those grandkids kids, everything you had going on. You never had to. I always said I, I always wanted to be like you, but I never wanted to be you. Listen to you, Steph. Woo! Shit real. Shit real. situation where somebody came up to me and said, man, uh, I got this machine. It might look like shit. I designed it to help people bench press 40% more than the average bench. And everybody who know me you know I bench press penitentiary style. You know how we do it, Pops. I just do one thing. Give me the weight. No wrist wraps, no none of that shit. Just the way you are. Pick it up, put it on your chest, and talk shit. Throw that motherfucker out. But everybody kept telling me, including the great powerful She-Hulk, she was the main one, if you was to put an arch in your bench, you know, I'm sorry, to use our voice. If you put a heart to your bench, <laughs> then you can, you can bench press more. I said, you know what, I don't really, I'm not comfortable with that, Pops. This motherfucker here is designed to make you not only put that arch, but also support you in the lift of you coming up with the weight. You touch chest, all the way down, it makes everything contract from the upper lats, uh, middle, lower, every fucking in your glutes. And I don't even bench press like that. Y'all see my shit from Hulk Smash on up. Don't bench press, but it made me do it. A new friend of mine now, since he put himself in this mix, the great powerful Cole, he actually called himself saying, fuck that, if Hulk will get one, I'ma get me one too. So he went perfect, my fucker. You wanna give him a little piece on what you experienced with that shit too? I, uh, I'm gonna be honest, man. I never, I've always had a problem targeting my chest, especially incline. And when I did it with incline dumbbells, it was like I had to drop the weight a ton. It really, really targeted and even with 135, it's, I like it, I love it. I'll be honest with you. I ain't want to say that too much, because I ain't want to, you know. <laughs> but now I'm going to say it. I love that motherfucker. I ain't gonna... <laughs> and to most people, I'm going to say this shit now. We're going to do an advertisement right now. If you purchase more than three and up, you qualify for me to come to your gym, come to your city, not only teach you how to use the motherfucking launch pad, also qualify for me to teach your whole gym and put on a live show just like this. 500 and up, because you can't lift shit, Mr. I drop shit. I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up for that. I'm gonna represent. I'm represent. Cut that shit out. All right. Happy birthday. <laughs> but now, nah, man, thank y'all. Make it like Christmas time. Now look what we got. Look what we got over here with advanced muscle mechanics. Look at that. Look at that shit. Amazing how, time, how the turns, how the tables turn around this motherfucker. Pops, you. The Godfather of Fitness Pops, thank you once again for setting this shit up and being a person to make sure we squash, uh, in, in this case, uh, collide our differences and make a similarity. We're gonna go ahead and show the world how you can make a negative or positive. The narrative has changed. Y'all get ready for Iron Wars. <laughs>